Imperial Cableway. We are here for you, for the community, and for the rest of the population of South Africa. Come and visit us, Aerial Cableway, Hard to be a Sport Band. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Coming to you live from Hearty's Cableway Mountain here in Heart of Esport. Proudly brought to you by Hearty's Cableway in association with First Crew Productions. Welcome to the first grand finale crowning event of Miss and Mr. Heart of Esport 2017. Welcome to the stage, our 2017 Miss and Mr. Heart of Beersport finalists. Sunik Nell. Interesting.
Kieran. Mr. Heart of Desperate 2017 finalists. Dantas for you.
Anton Hector. Welcome your celebrated host for this evening. He has won Journalist of the Year for Athletics, Swimming and Olympic Wrestling, SABC Sports Journalist of the Year three times and Vodacom Sports Journalist of the Year. He's also a recipient of a Merit Award from the International Olympic Academy. He is most well known as a radio announcer on the Afrikaans radio station RS Gheer. Put your hands together for Johan Rousseau. Ladies and gentlemen, the Miss Hartvia Sport was born out of a, a passion and a dream to provide a platform for the youth of Hartvia Sport to understand their purpose, find self-love, and very importantly, to increase their confidence. And by entering this program, we aim to provide each finalist with a safe platform into the modeling, film, and acting world. And this is no ordinary fashion, but rather a youth-empowering program. And that is so important, a youth-empowering program. And each entry included a five-day finishing school that left every finalist who joined our journey to the empowered, to be educated, and Inspired. The organizer of Miss Artvia Sport, Lorna Greiling, is the reigning Mrs. Hemisphere 2017 and she has extensive experience in the modeling industry and she's won various awards and that's so important in this industry. And she's experienced Mrs. South Africa, Queen of South Africa and Mrs. Africa as part of her portfolio. She's Yes, you may, you may, if you want. And apart from all that, she has 20 years of experience in the beauty industry and she's the CEO of the Melville Wellness Center and Day Spa in Johannesburg. She's a public speaker, she's a presenter, she's an actress and also an author, author of two books. So without further ado, 
please welcome to the stage the current Mrs. Africa Hemisphere and organizer of this evening's event, the dynamic Lorna Kralen. Hello Africa. My name is Lorna Kralen. I am a real woman, a dynamic business owner, and a joyful wife and mother. I live my life through the knowledge that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I have been married to my wonderful husband and best friend for 16 years, and we have three beautiful daughters. I am the proud owner and founder of the Melville Wellness Center and Day Spa. And it is from here that I also run my Women Empowerment Program, where I educate, empower, uplift, and inspire women to give them hope and a future. Being a Mrs. Africa finalist has given me the opportunity and platform to raise funds and bring dignity back to young girls through our Nuzuri and Dignity Dreams projects. It has been a great privilege to see the gratitude and self-worth ignite inside of these beautiful girls and I will carry this experience inside of my heart forever. Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn and in March 2010 my husband was kidnapped in Nigeria. He was severely beaten and held for ransom. This traumatic experience changed our lives forever and affected us physically, financially and most of all, emotionally. As Mrs. Africa, I would be able to use this continental platform to raise awareness around crime in Africa and its traumatic effects on its victims. I am also the proud ambassador for Partners Against Crime and I tend to use my inspiring story to bring hope and light on a worldwide scale. I thank you. and my dad is the radio announcer so I can talk forever so, um, allow me to go off my list so that I don't forget anyone my motto in life is as an Islamist you take blink so I can take blink over it I think first and foremost all the honor and all the glory has to go to my King and my Saviour, Jesus Christ. I would like to thank my family, my entire family, my close family, um, my mother, my brother, my sister-in-law, um, you know, my father, just my whole family have been supporting me, um, believing in me, helping me with the kids. Um, I'm a mother of three. It's not been easy. I actually forgot them at school last week. <laughs> uh, which was one of my less better moments. <laughs> but it happens. 
Um, and then most of all, my husband, who is my proudest and best supporter of all. I would like to thank my children for being so understanding through this time. I've been working through nights. Um, I've been tired. I have not been smiling like this <laughs> at home. Um, and they have just been amazing. I would like to thank each and every sponsor. Their logos are sometimes so small, but there are no words for me to thank them enough for believing in me and believing in this project. It is the first fashion show on top of a mountain in the world. And we are so proud of it. To the Mrs. Africa organization, thank you for believing in me. Thank you for giving me this title and this platform. I was at a school um, at the end of last year. This function is all about raising money for Dignity Dreams. And you will hear a little bit more about that just now. But I was at a school and a girl came up to me crying. Um, I was handing out washable sanitary pads. And she just hugged me. And she said, ma'am, you just changed my life. And I went home and I just cried. Because all I gave her was sanitary pads. So thank you for being here. Because tonight we are changing over 100 girls' lives for three years through the Dignity Dreams Washable Sanitary Pads Project. So please give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> to every finalist, oh my gosh, what a brave move to enter a pageant. <laughs> I think, um, thank you to each and every parent that is here of every finalist. Thank you for allowing your child this platform and this experience. Thank you for your support. You are amazing. And the best thing that a parent can give a child is to believe in them and to push them into their destiny. So please, yeah, thank you so much. Give yourself a round of applause for that. These contestants have worked very hard. And even though tonight we will be crowning a winner, this is not the end. Um, it is only the beginning. We are going to do some great things this year. I'm very excited. Let's give them a real good round of applause. Thank you so much. And thank you very much for your support here. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to stage for their final walk, the 2017 finalists of Miss and Mr. Hart Beersport coming to you live here from Hearty's Cableway Mountain, your finalists.
ladies and gentlemen, to receive the Fitness and Social Media Award and the crown as Miss Artis Boer 2017, Janelle Janssen van Vieren. <laughs> All to myself You made that for your cocaine and jokes So come on, give me a rest Of what it's like to be next to you And let one drop go to where you should know it's fine I breathe you in every single day